What is up, guys? I am back from uh, a long week. It's a long week, let's just say that. I died twice in the course of this past week. I've been doing streams and stuff, so uh, been having fun with that. I have my Fortune 3 pickaxe. I have a Silk Touch pickaxe. Um, I got all these tools on stream, so you guys can go watch that if you want to uh, see, if, you, if you're still able to. I don't know if I'm going to save the VOD or not, but uh, it was there. Um, I still haven't gotten mending on my iron axe though. I've got an ender chest now. I went to the nether to get some blaze rods and uh, ended up with a wither skeleton skull. So yeah, pretty cool. And uh, right now I'm going to go ahead and uh, craft up my eyes of ender. And we're going to go fight the ender dragon just like I promised. Real quick detour before we do that though. I wanted to show you guys some of the villagers I got. Somehow these two villagers are gone now. I don't know what happened to them. But um, I've got a silk touch, feather falling... Efficiency 4, or Efficiency 5, rather, and a Mending Villager. This guy is my bread and butter right here. Yeah, so uh, on stream, I turned my pumpkin uh, farm into an automatic pumpkin and melon farm with pistons and stuff, so that's just running 24-7. I get some really efficient stuff that way. But yeah, let me go ahead and get the blaze powder, and then we'll continue. All right, guys, so it turns out I can't find my blaze rods. So um, I'm going to have to go back to the nether real quick and... Uh, Grab some, so yeah, that's not gonna be fun. But we gotta do it, we gotta fight the Ender Dragon this episode. Alright, uh, I just killed a Blaze right now. Awesome, Blaze Rod. Oh gosh. Ah, oh, skeletons. Oh no! Ah, oh, Wither Skeletons! No! No! I gotta go, I gotta go. Ah, oh, no, no, I should have brought building blocks. What am I doing? It's cool because we got a crossroad right here in the middle. Um, I think this one will work for um, a wither skeleton spawner. So I got these barricades up right here to hopefully mitigate uh, the chances of something bad happening right here. Oh shoot, there they are, there they are, there they are, there they are. No, no, oh. okay, whew. There we go, okay. I don't think that one dropped anything. Oh gosh, what the heck? Where'd that one come from? Oh gosh, over there. I should have crafted a shield before I came here. Oh gosh, what? Yeah, guys, I'm bailing. I need a shield. I don't think there's any way around that. I just need a shield. I know I said last episode that I was only going to get the elytra, but over stream I decided that it would just be more worth it to kill the ender dragon because it shouldn't be too hard. Plus, um, once I kill him, a portal's going to open up that'll allow me to get to the outer end, so that'll make life a lot easier. I built a villager breeder. I used that portal to carry villagers over to it, and I built a villager breeder. It's a pretty basic one. I'm probably going to build another one eventually. That's why I didn't bother making an episode about it. But I'll go ahead and do that when I make another one. Oh, you do. You only need one iron for a shield. Putting that next to my pearls. I'm kind of counting on the fact that there will be uh, ender pearls already on the portal. So hopefully I'm right. So I only need four more blaze rods, unless I get, uh... Or no, because the blaze powder actually makes more, doesn't it? Let me see. If I take those blaze rods and I turn them into blaze powder, how many will I get? Yeah, you know what? We're actually not going to go in the nether, you guys. I think I just remembered something. I think I remembered that uh, when you craft blaze rods into blaze powder, you get more of them. So let me just see if that theory is correct. Yes, it is. Which means I have the perfect amount to make some eyes of ender. Let's um, make an eye of ender. Sweet. All right, guys, I'm just going to grab some more cobblestone for pillaring when I fight the dragon. I'm going to grab some wood and a crafting table. Let me see. Is there anything else? Beds. I want to make beds. All right, guys, so right now, here's the strategy. We are going to make some beds. And uh, be before, obviously, we go through with the beds, we're going to we're gonna shoot arrows at all of the uh, little things, the, the end crystals. So I'm going to make sure I have a lot of arrows. 
All right, guys, I'm not exactly sure when I stopped recording, but uh, I just I threw the Ender Pearl. I came out into the desert over there. My base is just right over there, um, past the fog, so we're not that far away yet. Um, in fact, I wanted to show you guys these dirt pillars that I have stacked up over here. These mark out a quad slime chunk, so I will have a quad slime farm here pretty soon. It's going to be pretty sick. So uh, we're, I'm just going to walk this way. This is where the Ender Pearl took me, in case you guys want to see. The Ender Pearl is going that way. So, yeah, that's where we're going. Okay, good. That one didn't break. I want to try to break these as little as possible, so I just want to try to throw these. Uh, at the next landmark we find, I will go ahead and uh, throw it again, but not until we get to a landmark. So even if you're not going to use the bed method to defeat the Ender Dragon, I definitely suggest bringing one because you want to sleep right outside the end portal when you are about to go in. It just It's better that way. Okay, so it looks like we're hitting sunset now, so I'm going to drop my bed here. And just go to start going to sleep. Come on. I should be able to sleep now. There we go. Okay, looks like we got the acacia biome over there again. Okay, guys, so usually these strongholds are going to be pretty far away from where you spawned. So just keep throwing your ender pearls every few hundred blocks, making sure that you uh, pick them all up. You just want to throw these as often as you can in order to ensure that you're going in the right direction. And I think I am. So I counted this acacia biome over here as a landmark. It's going to be pretty easy to remember. Um, and yeah, it looks like I just have to keep going in this direction. Okay, it looks like ocean, and I don't like that. I, don't, I didn't bring a boat, so I'm going to have to craft one if I uh, have to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out to the shore here, throw my ender pearl, and see where it goes. And that will help us decide if we need to go out into the ocean. Hopefully it's right behind us if we're lucky. Yes, it is. Perfect. So, where where behind us is it? Is it, uh, can't be too far. Okay, it's, it's turning pretty sharply, so it's got to be, like, right under, whoa, that, that rock gives me, uh, some hope. This cactus, let me just double check. Yes, it, it it's, looks like it's going to be around here somewhere. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get my shovel. And I'm just going to dig down. Oh, look. Is there a cave here? The cave might be good for us. It might make it easier for us to get in there. Um, oh, that's not going to make it easy. Okay. So, uh, I'm, uh, due to that cave system, I think this is, is probably likely that this is where we're supposed to go. So, uh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm, uh, I'm just going to start digging, like, right here. Um, and remember, we're looking for... Uh, a cave system, or, okay, this looks like a little mini cave. Um, oh, look at that. Okay. Oh, I don't have any torches. Oh, no, that was a mistake. Should have brought torches. Um, oh, yup, this is the stronghold right here. Okay. So we gotta try to make our way up here. Oh, my, is this the portal? Oh, gosh, guys, I found the actual portal room so quickly. This is crazy. Okay, so... Looks like there's going to be silver fish in here, so we got to be extra careful. Because of the silver fish spawner and stuff, you know? So. Okay, so. Let's pull out our sword and get ready for these silver fish. Um, I'm going to go ahead and break the spawner. I don't really care for it. Okay, no silver fish. Awesome. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and uh, cordon this off. I just want to be stuck in this room right now. Okay. I didn't bring a bucket of water, actually. That was probably a bad idea. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put my bed down, set that as my respawn, and cover up all this lava. Okay. All right, boys and girls. Oh, gosh. Did we get lucky here? How many do we need? One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven. It was the perfect amount, guys. It was the perfect amount. We got so lucky. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, I definitely, it would definitely would have sucked if I had to go back. But let me just set my respawn again. Awesome. But my respawn was set, right? Yes, it was. Okay, good. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna set down my crafting table. Set down my crafting table, and I'm gonna go ahead and craft uh, a chest to put some of my stuff in because I don't want to take all of this stuff with me right now. Okay, so 
I don't need the sand, the andesite, I don't need, or the stone. Um, let me see. I don't need the iron bars or the sticks. My ender chest will actually stay in here. Um, or you know what? I might put it down right now to see if there's anything I want to grab from it. The wood I brought for utility. I don't need the axe or the shovel. Um, let me see. Silk touch, unbreaking, and fortune. I think I'm going to take the silk touch one. Um, my bow I'm going to need. Uh, and then this. And then the rest is just going to be beds. Let me put down the ender chest real quick. Um, glass bottle, fire resistance. You know what? I'm going to take the fortune pickaxe because if I have to break the ender chest when I come back, I want to make sure that I have the silk touch still. So I'm going to take the fortune one. Um, I'm going to have one slot full of cobblestone. So that way I can pillar out. But the rest of these slots are just filled with beds. Okay, guys. Here we go. Whew. Let's get ready, boys and girls. We're going in. We're fighting the dragon. Hopefully we spawn inside the island. Yes. Okay, good. Sort of. Uh, we're sort of inside the island. But now we got to step our way out. Got to make sure we're not looking at any endermen. Okay. Where's my bow and arrow? Okay. So, look up at these. Make sure we're not looking at any endermen. And a little bit higher. That one looks like it almost worked. Come on. Come on. Am I seriously not destroying these things at all? He's still dropping dragon's breath around me. Let me see. Okay, I got a pillar up here. He's gonna try to bump me off of here, I already know it. Uh, okay, that one's down. Oh, the dragon's breath, no. Oh, I'm scared, guys, I'm so scared. I should not be here right now. He's trying to, he's trying to flap on me. Oh gosh, okay. There's the dragon's breath doing its thing, okay. Oh, come on. It's right there, come on, let me get it. No, come on. I would hate to have to pillar up here. He's throwing dragon's breath at me again. Oh, no. No, 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 no. He's going to try to knock me off. He's going to try to knock me off. No, 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 no. Oh, gosh. That feather falling is so worth it. Okay. I really just got to use the bow, man. Okay. Use the bow, use the bow, use the bow. Shoot it, come on, come on. No, that's too high. Come on, man. Come on, come on. Right there, we got this, come on. It's right there in reach, yes, okay, good, good, good. Let's get this one. Too high. Yes. This one over here. How about that one? Too high. Oh, come on. That one didn't destroy it? Come on. Yes, okay, good. Good, good, good. Okay, now let's get the ones that we can see first. Okay. This one we can not see, so I'm just going to have to try to get a good shot in here. Good. Okay. Whew. I think we're doing good. I think we're making great progress. No Endermen have seen us looking at them yet, so I think we're doing all right. Oh, that one was so close. Okay, let me go this way. How many arrows do I have left? 22. Gosh. I got to be a little bit more conservative with my arrows. And how did that do? So close. Yes, that one did it. Awesome. Uh, I got to try to get this one up here. How can I get that one? Um, I'm already pretty sure I can su survive a pretty high fall while I'm here. Okay, so let me see if I can get an arrow shot right over here. This one. Is this the only one he has left? 
Oh goodness gracious. Okay. Please tell me that's the last one he has. I gotta check to see if he's healing at all. Is he healing? I don't see his health bar going up. That looks like it was the last one. And if it was, that means it's bedtime. Come on, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Come on. Come down, come down, come down, come down. Come down, come down. Uh, F3B? Oh gosh, he got me. I gotta get out of here. Oh no, did I did I trigger these guys? No, I didn't. Okay, good. Alright, here's what I gotta do. I gotta put a bunch of beds down here. I only have four beds left. What happened to all my beds, man? Come on, run, 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 run. Okay, I guess I only have four beds left. That's alright. Um, I got some arrows. I can shoot them with arrows. Okay, so he lands this way, so I gotta, I actually have to put the bed this way. God dang it. Ah, no, come on, come on. Almost there, almost there, almost there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Oh, gosh. I gotta run, I gotta run, I gotta run. Gotta wait to heal, gotta wait to heal. Whew. I'm so surprised that Enderman hasn't seen me yet. Are these beds just not doing any damage? These guys are looking at the Ender Dragon or what? Oh, did the Ender Dragon look at them or something? Can that happen? Is that a thing? Come on, come on. Come down, come down. I know you're not healing, dog. Come on. I got you. Whoa. Let me go over here and hit this guy. So they are hitting the Ender Dragon. I didn't know that Enderman could fight the Ender Dragon. Oh, he got me an Ender Pearl. Thanks, bud. Come on, come on. Come over here, come over here, come over here. Come over here, come over here, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come over, come over, come over. Come on. Whoa! Is that an Enderman coming after me? I got three arrows left. I'm just gonna have to hit this guy with the sword on his way down. Okay. Oh, come on! Oh god, that was bad. Dang it, every time he tries to come down there, he just catches me off guard. I told you guys I wasn't ready for this, man. I definitely wasn't ready to try to beat him at this game right here. Yeah, here he comes, 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 here he comes. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. That's his face? No! I just gotta hit him with the sword now. Yeah, all my arrows are gone. I just gotta hit him with the sword now. At least I'm feeling alright. I have pretty good armor, so I'm not too worried right now. Hopefully the lack of worry can stay for a little while. Just gotta stay within the pillars, and I'll be good. Let's see how he lands. Let's see how he lands. Come on, come on. Land well, land well for me. Come on. Land well. Good, 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 good. Whoa, 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 whoa! How did that happen? How did that happen? I thought I was able to hit him like that. I thought if I waited for him to land and approached him from the back, I could hit him. How, co how come I can't just hit him while he's on the ground like that, man? This is gonna take a while, guys. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, 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 alright. Oh no, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Dang it! This is why you camp right here, guys. Now I can go back and get my stuff back really quickly. And now hopefully these guys won't be all aggro at me. So, where was I? Where was I? Where did I die? I think it was close to over there where he threw his last dragon breath thing. I don't think I need the hitboxes up anymore.
Okay, let's try to hide somewhere real quick while I put this stuff back on. I'm just watching the middle right here. Do I have to pillar up or something to get to him? Come on, almost got it. We're almost there, come on. We're almost there, we're almost there. Dang it. Come on, we're almost there, guys, we're almost there. We got this, dude, we got this, dude. I almost have him, guys, he's super low, we got this. About to defeat the Ender Dragon, let's go. Here he goes, 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 here he goes. Yes, we did it! We defeated the Ender Dragon! We did it, guys! We did it! We defeated the Ender Dragon! Let's go! Wow, guys, that was so fun. We actually did it. We defeated the Ender Dragon. That was awesome, guys. And now, next episode, we should be able to get some Elytra. I'm gonna take my stuff and go back to base. Alright, guys, so it turns out this thing doesn't look like it was that far away from our actual home base, which is pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, head back to home base. That cobblestone pillar is going to mark the entrance to it. We're going to go back home. And you know what? We got two ender pearls to kill. Let's go ahead and uh, throw these guys and see where they go. And boom. And you know what? I'm going to throw another one and skadoosh. Great. Guys, I was so happy to have you guys come along with me on this amazing journey to beating the Ender Dragon. But this does not mean that the series is over. Of course not. We got so much left to do. I still got to build another villager breeder so I can show you guys how they work. And we got to beat a wither. We got to get beacons. We got to build the quad slime farm. Guys, don't forget about the quad slime farm. We're going to have a lot of fun. This will be a pretty short episode. But uh, I have a lot of stuff to do this week, so that should be good for me anyways. But guys, don't you worry, because next Friday we're going to have an amazing one for you. In fact, why don't you guys go ahead and leave in the comments below what you would like me to do in the future. Like, any farms you would like to see me build, anything like that. I'm willing to try almost anything in this game. So if you guys want to suggest anything to me that you want to see, I will totally be open to doing any of those things. And next episode, guys, we're going to be going and busting to look for shulker boxes. Or do you guys think I should do end busting on stream? I think end busting on stream would be way better. Yeah, you know what? That's my final decision. I'm going to do some end busting on stream tomorrow, Saturday, at noon Pacific Standard Time. Okay, guys? Hopefully, I'll be home by then. I do have some stuff to do on Saturday. But if not, follow me on Twitter, at Akati, and I'll let you guys know when I'm going to go ahead and get on stream. All right, guys. As the sun sets on this glorious day... I go to bed. I'll see you guys next time.